Hello, my internet friends. I'm about to start studying for three hours, but before I do that, I just want to say thank you to you all who have watched my last video. I honestly was not anticipating how much support and love I would get in the comment section. You were all sharing your experiences and backgrounds and how you achieved your goals to become either a data analyst or a data scientist or how you were in the process of trying to become one. It makes me feel like I'm on the journey with you all at the same time. And I really, really appreciate your company and your words of encouragement. On top of that, there are also some great ideas coming out of the comment section. Looking at you, Ocean View 3165 on the good idea of starting a study group. I will give more updates on the study group later after I'm done studying. Up front, I just want to say thank you. Thank you all for your words of encouragement, for your support. I'm really grateful to be on this journey with all of you. Now let's get to study. Okay, I'm taking a break. Um, an hour in of three hours. T test and Z test is stressing me out. I spent like three hour and 45 minutes on it yesterday trying to figure out exactly what the differences are. Uh, it turns out that in practice, it might not really matter. Uh, people just use T test. Uh, NAB testing, so uh, well, there's more to figure out there, but if it really has no difference, I fucking spent three hours and 45 minutes on nothing yesterday. Well, whatever. Oh, look at you, so cute. Cute. Significance level is not the same as power. Cool. Significance level is usually point zero five. Power is usually in practice point eight. Isn't the minimum effect size related to power? Power is the probability of detecting a specified effect size with specified sample characteristics. Boy. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Hour two is down. My back hurts like a mofo. I lay on the floor, and this is what I'm seeing. It's actually quite relaxing. I'm taking a break and checking my phone, and I got a LinkedIn message for a analytics developer job. I mean, it is data related, basically just making dashboards. It doesn't look the most interesting to me, not what I want to look for, but if you are interested in becoming an Oracle Analytics developer, they're looking. One hour later. All right, I am done with my studying today. I did 45 minutes of statistics, that's Z test and T test, and an hour and 50 minutes of like data masked stuff material um that's specifically for product data scientists and i also did like 25 minutes ish of pandas um for data wrangling the update that i wanted to talk about the first update is that 
I started a study group on Discord. I will link that study group. The second update is that this is my first time kind of facilitating a community. I've never done it before. I don't know what I'm doing. I started a survey. I will also link that survey. And that survey is just to get a feel of what people want out of this uh, study group. Right now there is like nothing on the Discord channel besides a link to the survey because I don't know what to do. I don't know what people want. If you can respond to that survey, that would help me and your fellow prospective data scientist drastically. I will keep that survey open until the end of June. So uh, June 30th, at the end of the day, I will close it and then I will tally up the responses and build out the Discord server like how we want it. And in the meantime, do whatever you want in the Discord server. There are a handful of you in there already. Like, feel free to chat, feel free to hit each other up if, you know, you want to make friends or find study buddies and such. But that's it, the two updates, study group on Discord and a survey to figure out what we want out of the study group. Now that I'm done with studying, I actually have to work on my full-time job, the job that actually pays me before I can go get some lunch. That's gonna be boring stuff, so I'm not gonna show any of it. Today for lunch, I am having some Costco Swiss chicken roller trays sammy type situation and a mediterranean salad surprise surprise and some hot sauce from not much left so uh from what is this bucky's i got this as a gift i was editing my last video of eating mediterranean salad i noticed that i like didn't even bother to put my salad into a bowl i was just eating it out of the mixing bowl but then I was like, that's how I eat lunch anyways, always. So I'm not even gonna bother with it this time either. I'm just gonna be eating out of a mixing bowl. Who cares? I am on my midday little mental health walk. Speaking of mental health, I wanted to talk about like, stress obviously trying to self-study and become a data scientist is not easy for anybody and on top of that I'm trying to like many other people to do this while holding down a job and having relationships to maintain for the first four weeks of my study plan I honestly didn't think I was stressed at all. I also work from home so that makes things a lot easier. I have more flexibility when it comes to when I study and when I work but my partner one day kept asking me like are you okay while well, he was also working from home. And I'm like what do you mean whether I'm okay? He's like you look stressed and for a moment I was like this is just what I look like. <laughs> like I don't have a smile on my face when I work and study, like it's just a straight face. I used to work at Starbucks when I was in college and other people actually told me that I look unapproachable when I work at Starbucks. Like I just have a resting bitch face. But then the more I think about it, I realized like my partner has worked from home with me before, but he's never said, that I look stressed. He never asked me whether I'm okay during the workday. All this came to me last weekend when we were on our way to camping at Kings Canyon and Sequoia. It was like a four hour drive. So I had a lot of time to think. I realized that I was actually stressed. Like it's weird to say that I didn't realize I was stressed, but I was. On Saturday, like at like 2, 3 p.m. I sat down at the campground and I started studying. Like when I was sitting there, I just could not focus. And it was weird that I couldn't because it was such a beautiful environment. There were trees in the background, there were birds chirping. It was peaceful, it smells like campfire. It was like, if there's a better way to study than studying in a campground, it doesn't exist. 
because I also don't have the distraction of my phone. But then I studied for an hour. I couldn't concentrate. And I was like, you know what? Screw this. I will just not study today. And that initially made me feel kind of bad because I wasn't going to check the box for that day. But then I noticed it made me feel better. And I stopped beating myself up about it when I told myself, you know, like, I am not checking the box because I couldn't. I'm not checking the box because I choose not to. I'm in this awesome, beautiful national park. I just want to give myself some time off to relax. And on top of that, I was also telling myself that, you know, sure, I didn't hit the three hour study goal on Saturday or on Sunday for that matter, but I get to enjoy nature. I get to camp. It was my second time camping ever and my first time camping without a shower. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I ended up loving it. So all of that to say, maybe you're stressed Take some time off for yourself. You're probably gonna t feel better if you told yourself that you are actively choosing to do something or to not do something. And at the same time, you know, you didn't check your box. So what, you did something else. I relaxed. I saw massive, massive trees and I camped in a campground with a lot of ants and oddly enjoyed it. So that's my, uh, little mental health talk for myself and for you. Don't feel bad if you need to take a break. We're all in this together. I'm on my way to the gym and I just realized that earlier I forgot to mention about some of the resources that I wrote up. In my last video, I mentioned some of the study materials that I used. I turned that into a Notion page and put it on my website under the resources tab along with the study materials i also added a roadmap and my notes on t-test and z-test from my three hour and 45 minute session yesterday i will also post the link to the study group i'm sure as the study group matures there are going to be more resources better resources a different variety of resources but for now there are three that i made that are available. After the gym we go. I'm done with my workout very red and sweaty. I'm going home to eat dinner, some shrimp bowls, and probably go to bed at like nine o'clock to read a book and fall asleep to said book. See you back here again soon. Bye.